What is up guys, James Carter TV here for yet another one of my 2016 NFL Mock Drafts. This is the Mock Draft 4.0 Post Super Bowl Edition. And we're about eh, two weeks before the Combine, so I think this is going to be my last Mock Draft before the Combine, unless there's something really changes or anything like that. The full Mock Draft is in the description box below, and in this video I will talk about some of the things that I know you guys will have a problem with. So with that said, let's get into it, shall we? Now, if you watched my last mock draft, my mock draft 3.0, you know that it, in that mock draft, I had the Titans taking Laramie Tunsil, not because I believe they're going to do it, but because I believe there's a possibility that they might do it, and then let's see what would happen if they do. Now, in this mock draft, I'm having them taking Joey Bosa and saying, okay, what's going to happen if they do this? Because I'm a Tennessee Titans fan. And I am of the belief that they're going to take Jalen Reds with the first overall pick. And this is not a belief many people hold. But I was the first person last year to say they were going to draft Marcus Mariota. I said they're going to draft Marcus Mariota the minute after they drafted Taylor Lewan in the 2014 NFL draft. You can go to my Twitter account and confirm that. It's my pinned tweet there. I know this team. Now, there is a chance that they're going to be idiots, though, and that they're going to feel that after watching the Super Bowl, oh, you need a pass rush. We need a pass rusher, even though they already have two pass rushers on their team. So they may sit here and they may take Joey Bosa and feel that, oh, either we'll put him at outside linebacker or we'll put him at 3-4 defensive end. We'll replace a very good player in Daquan Jones, one of our better players for some godly reason, and that's what we're going to do. So if they do, some things will fall, and a lot of things change. So if you've been following my mock drafts, this is not very similar to a lot of the mock drafts I've had in the past, but I think after this one I'll go back to my regular old, you know, Titans taking Jalen Rams and see what happens after that. But for this one... Titans take Joey Bosa. Let's see what happens next. I still have the Browns taking Carson Wentz. I think now the Chargers are thrilled. They get to take Jalen Ramsey to be their new free safety. Cowboys, they're in a big, big pickle. A lot of people like to mock Miles Jack here, and I don't understand it. Cowboys are not in need of an outside linebacker, 4-3 outside linebacker. They have Anthony Hitchens on one side. They have Sean Lee on the other. They are in need of an inside linebacker in a 4-3 defense. But Miles Jack isn't that in a 4-3 defense. He's not good enough against the run to be that. So, they're kind of stuck and they take Laquan Treadwell. Might be a reach for them, might be a reach to some, but I think this would be a really good pick for them and I think they wouldn't regret it at all. Five Jaguars are in another tough pickle here. They could take Miles Jack and that's why I had them taking last mock draft. But now that Larry Tunsil's sitting there, they're like, well, we don't really love Luke Jokel. I mean, yeah, we drafted him, but, I mean, he's not playing very well. We have a chance now to really get a good left tackle. Uh, we're going to take it. And they have them taking Laramie Tunsil here with the fifth pick. I think it's just way too much value here for the Jaguars, who would love to take a defensive back in Jalen Ramsey, but he isn't available. They would eh, might want to reach on Vernon Hargraves, might want to take Miles Jack, but the value is too much to pass up here for Laramie Tunsil. I still have the Ravens taking Ronnie Stanley. I just like the pick and fit here. Under this scenario, I mean, there could be a possibility maybe they feel like uh, we could get reach for Vernon Hargraves. We could reach for Noah Spence. We may even draft Miles Jack. But I think, I, I just think Ozzie Newsom is too wise to not notice the impending issue that is becoming tackle for the Baltimore Ravens, as Ricky Wagner had a disappointing 2015 season, and Eugene Monroe could be released heading into this free agency period. So I think he's just too smart to ignore that, and he's going to realize, hey, this is a big deal. We need to protect Joe Flacco if we're going to do anything. Now the 49ers take Jared Goff. I have them taking Laquan Treadwell before. He is not available. They evaluate their quarterback position. I think Jared Goff could be a good fit in this Chip Kelly offense. And, I mean, he's not going to be very mobile or anything like that. But I think he's still going to be a good fit regardless. And they kind of sit there and they take him. Eight Dolphins are thrilled. They get to take Miles Jack to be a, diamond, a dynamic linebacker. They need a dynamic linebacker. Miles, uh, oh no, excuse me, Noah Spence goes at number 9 to Tampa Bay. There's a little bit of a reach to me, but Noah Spence's stock has been rising. I will listen to it, I will follow it, and I'll have him going this high, but I think this is a little bit of a reach to me. Alright, we have the Giants taking DeForest Buckner. 
we have the Bears taking Shaq Lawson. And things get interesting here. I have the Saints now taking Mackenzie Alexander. And this is perfect for them because they would love to take a cornerback or a defensive end. But the defensive ends went boom, boom, boom to Chicago, New York, and Tampa Bay. There is no pass rushers to take. So they'll sit here. They'll take Mackenzie Alexander. And they will try to forget about the failure Brandon Browner was last year. Eagles sit here. I still have them taking Paxton Lynch. I still have them taking a quarterback until they re sign Sam Bradford. I'm not sure that they, uh, that they will. I'm going to have them taking Paxton Lynch. I have the Raiders taking Vernon Hargraves. Now, Raider fans, we've been talking every single mock draft video. I've talked to Raider fans and I've said, guys, you guys love to critique who I have you taking, but you don't understand that this is not a perfect spot for you. But today it is because Vernon Hargraves is right there for the taking. There is no discussion today. I'm expecting no vitriol from Raider fans today over me to having them taking Vernon Hargraves the third. All right, Rams, though. Rams fans are going to be pissed because now all the three quarterbacks have been taken. Who are they going to take? The pass rushers aren't there as well. There's not many great defensive backs there as well. So I have you taking a linebacker. And I know this isn't going to be much fun for you. You're going to say, ah. But you really don't have a great weak side linebacker. I mean, you're considering putting Mark Barron there. And he's an upcoming free agent there anyway. I think this is the best option there, to be honest. But I'm sure you'll disagree. So feel free to comment down below. And, you know, from here, I'm just going to stop talking. Just go down to the description box below, full mock draft there. Go down to the comments and yell at me. It's fine. I can take it. I'll probably reply to you, and we can have a fun and interesting conversation. Last thing, though, I'm sure some people of some or some fans of some teams might disagree with. I have the Bengals taking Corey Coleman, a wide receiver here, only because... I mean, Marvin Jones is a coming free agent. Mohamed Sanu is an upcoming free agent. Bengals don't love to pay guys. I can see them letting Marvin Jones go. I think I see Mohamed Sanu resigning, but he's not very good. He hasn't been a very good wide receiver. He's been nice on trick plays. So I think wide receiver could be a bigger need than, than they think. Chiefs fans, I'd be taking Emmanuel Ogba. Just get over it. D Ford isn't very good. Tom Bahali's out. You need a pass rusher. Uh, and this is one here. Now, wide receiver could also be a possibility. Inside linebacker, I would have liked to put in, in here, but there was no one available, so sorry for that, but that was the case. So, yeah, all right, there you go. There's my mock draft, full mock draft in the description box below. Until next time, James Carter TV, I'm out. Peace.